Of all the people arriving at the gay marriage trial, none was more unexpected than Hollywood's Rob Reiner. In fact, Reiner is financing much of the legal expense on the gay side, and he recruited conservative lawyer Ted Olson to the team. Ted Olson joining our team and deciding to you know, spearhead the legal effort has given us an opportunity to you know, basically say this is not a, uh, a partisan issue, this is not Republican, this is not Democrat, this is not conservative or liberal, this is about equal justice and equal rights for everybody in this country and the Constitution uh, provides for that. Reiner's political advisor, Chad Griffin, shown on the left in the glasses with one of the couples challenging Prop 8, helped raise funds in the entertainment industry for the trial. But that fundraising was done quietly without the knowledge or help of traditional gay rights groups who have been running the movement for decades. Bruce Cohen, the producer of the Oscar-winning film Milk, is part of the new leadership. Uh, several of you from Hollywood kind of snatched this issue away from the traditional gay rights groups. Why did you do that? It came out of the news that Ted Olson, one of the leading conservative lawyers in the country, if not the world, was for gay marriage and believed that it is clearly a constitutional issue. And once we heard that and started speaking with him, we realized that this was the time to bring this case to the courts to try and overturn Prop 8 on a federal level. In fact, the Hollywood activists were tired of seeing gay rights groups lose. So their legal team in the Prop 8 case even opposed letting the traditional gay rights groups intervene in the case. They did ask for some of the legal groups not to be in the case. Why is that? Um, I think they felt that they you know, had a handle on the legal issues. They have Ted Olson and David Boies um, leading this case. Uh, Longtime gay this? activist Cleve Jones yeah, says it marks a change in leadership for the gay movement right. and a change in strategy in how to win civil rights. So I think people all across the country have been uh, made increasingly impatient by the county by county, city by city, state by state struggle for fractions of equality. Bold action has always been met with resistance, but it is bold action that propels us forward. And I think people have uh, settled into sort of a, a cautious approach, and, and the, uh, they were very invested in this state-by-state -state approach. So this new approach, going federal with one big case, is the result.